this video, we will continue with locate approximately a root of an equation. You will find this on page 549 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6x. Let's look at another example. Use two graphs to determine the number of roots of the equation. So basically you must, it's already one equation, so you must just take it out. So you can make that a graph and if I'm taking that over and over, I'm going to end up with this graph and I'm going to end up with this graph. Okay, again, make a table. Okay, just be careful. If it's an exponential equation if, or even if it's a logarithmic equation, just don't make it too short. Just that striving to the x-axis, make it longer so that you can see, okay, it's not cutting. Because there now you can see, if you made it only up to there, it would not intersect at that point. So then make it just, it, it will just be commas, but just make it a little bit longer. Okay, so, so maybe it's best to first get that one and see where it cuts. And then you know up to where you must do that one. So there are two points of intersection, so there are two roots. And then verify by calculation that this has a root between 2 and 2.1. It's that, that intersection. So I substitute 2, I substitute 2.1, work to decimal places, and then you can see it's going from a negative to a positive. I wanted to make the color blue. Come on. So the change of sign indicates the presence of a root between 2 and 2.1. Okay, so it was just that first part that was a little bit different. Now, this was more or less the same. Remember, just exponential to make it longer. I decided to give you number 3 because I, this one is involving a little bit of trigonometry. The nice thing about number 3 is that they tell you the interval. So if they don't tell you the interval, just make sure after you draw the one that you can see that the, on the other one, you make that one also longer. But in this one, very nice, they gave you the interval. I want you to stop the video and as soon as you are done, you can continue the video. So by sketching a suitable pair of graphs, show that there's only one value of x in the interval that is the root. Now the nice thing also, they also didn't take everything to one side. So I think if you start with this, you can see that y is equal to sin x and y is equal to 1 over x squared. That's your two graphs. Now don't forget, and the reason why 0 is not included in this interval is due to this one. Okay. But just to get, it's going to be decimals, but just to get a little bit more, um, oh sorry, not a quarter, of, luckily of. Just to get a little bit more points, you can for example say, okay, what is a half and I divide it by 4. So take in your calculator, say 1 divide 2, divide 4, and it's 1 over 8. So I think if we create a table here, let's just do that. Okay, remember this is in radians, so I'm going to put my, as soon as I see sin and cos, put your calculator on radians. I said 4, uh, I just want, you, one decimal place will be good enough, okay, for the drawing. So make this one, let's just see um, if we can more or less make this one the same, okay. Okay, so let's start. This is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. Now, if I said, I said 1 over 8, so I, don't make it 0, it's not included. So make it 1 over 8 pi. And then if you say 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, it's going to be 2 over 8, which is a quarter pi. And then it's 3 over 8 pi. And then you can go, yes, just go up to there because the next one will be the half, which is not included. So my blocks is too much. 
I will now see if I can, you can first start and then according to the graph, we can see if we must make it longer or not. So I think for now, I'm going to start with that. Make sure your calculator is in radians and just go and press sin and then I'm going to press a bracket and I'm going to say 1 divide 8 multiply shift by close the bracket equals, I'm going to make it one decimal place. So it's 0, 0,4. Then the same. Say so sin, uh, then bracket, then um, 1 divide 4 multiply shift the, the pi close the bracket equals. This is 0, 0,7. And if I do the last one, sin bracket, 3 divide 8 multiply shift by close the bracket equals, and that's 0, 0,9. Okay. If I do this one, just substitute now there. Um, the radians will not have an influence now. It's not trigonometry. You can leave it the calculator like it is. So 1 divide bracket. And then say um, uh, 1 divide 8 multiply shift. Uh, where is my pi? Let's just get my pi plus the bracket square equals. Oh, and that's going to be 6.5. And then the next one, it's going to be 1 divide bracket, uh, 1 divide 4 multiply by, oh, yes, okay, close bracket squared equals, oh, no, that's a mistake. Let's just try again. 1 divide bracket, 1 divide or multiply shift by close the bracket squared equals that's better 1.6 if you see something extreme then just try to press it again then the last one one divide I'm here so bracket and I say this one three divide eight multiply shift by close the bracket squared due to that square equals and I get 0.7 Okay, and now I'm going to go to my grid, make one centimeter uh, blocks. Uh, please don't just make it rough, just make it one so that it's a little bit on scale. And then I'm just going to go here. Okay, let's get my axis. Okay, it's just positive. So that's actually going to be... I'm just going to see if I can make it a bit bigger. I'm going to work with two just going to be above so I think this will work and I move this here and just to be a little bit more accurate or oh, not so small it's more the small okay let's just get that correct so it's what um, no okay let's just go this is 1 over 8 by and then this will be a quarter by and this will be 3 over 8 Okay, there's my zero, and then, uh, okay, this one must go so up to six, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, oh, it's actually six to there, seven. Okay, and now I'm going to start plotting. So if it's one over eight, it's 0 0.4, so it's approximately there. And then... If it's um, a quarter, it's 0 0.7. Oh, this one is very small here. 0 0.7. Because it's only up to 1, it's the same. And then uh, the next one, if it's, uh, let's, where are we? Zero, so 3 quarters, 0 0.9 there. Very small. And you know this sin, so it's not a problem. You know that it's, you follow. That is going. So this is going to be y equals sin x. Okay, let's do the next one. Uh, so it's 6.5. So there it's going to be 6.5. And then it's 1.6. And then it's 0 0.7. Okay, 0 0.7. It's going to be lower than that 0 0.9. And it's coming from there. Okay. Um, I just want to get that last, okay, something like that. And that's going to be y equals 1 over x squared. 
But according to the graph, and that's what I want to see, um, I'm just going to say, okay, in the interval, okay, so therefore, this is number A, um, in the interval, now that's important because they gave it now to me, so x is bigger than zero and smaller than a half pi, let's just go on, there is one point of intersection. So the equation sin x equals 1 over x squared has only one root in the given interval, something like that. Okay, that's number A. Okay, so now by sketching, show that there's only one value. Verify by calculation, calculation that this root lies between 1 and 1.5. So, and I will show you now on the graph also something. But let's start first with number B. Now, I usually want to get my grid away, otherwise it's too many lines. Okay, so if I'm going to substitute, so first, let's go going to find fx. Now, remember, they gave me sin x is 1 over x squared. So if I must take it, so if I mark the fx, I'm taking, it's going to be sin x and bring that over minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so in this case, I have to first make it 1. And then I'm going to substitute. So, and what do I substitute there? 1. So it's sin 1 minus 1 over 1 squared. Okay, so let's just press it on your calculator. So sin 1 minus, it's actually just 1. And that is going to give me... And keep it on radians, so it's negative 0 point, uh, let's make it 159, three significant figures. And just take note, it's negative. Okay, and now I'm going to put my next one, so if 1.5 equals sin 1.5 minus 1 over 1.5, okay, press on your calculator, so sin 1.5 equals minus a bracket, you can say 1, divide 1.5, close the bracket, equals. And I get 0 point, oh, I forgot to put the square, sorry. Okay, so let's try it again. So say sin 1.5 minus 1, divide, bracket, 1.5, um, close the bracket, square equals. Okay. So it's 0 0.553. So please don't forget that square. I keep on forgetting it in this question. Okay, and that's positive. And then I can end up by, by saying, therefore, okay, this shut the change of sign. In the plates, the presence of a root between x is one and x is one point five. Can I just show you? If you go back to this scale and you say, "Oh, but where is one?" Work out this. Go and press this on the calculator. Press on your calculator. 1 divide 4 equals multiply shift pi. What do you get? This is 0 0.785. Okay, press this on your calculator. 3 divide 8 equals multiply shift pi equals. This is 1.18. 1 so, remember that was a 7. Zero, okay, let's say 0 0.8. doesn't matter. 
So if I say show that it's between 1 and 1.5, it's basically that I say, so say 1 was there and 1.5 can be there. And can you see there's your point of intersection? Okay, so just, just work it out so that you have a better idea on a number. Because of the pi, you can maybe get a little bit confused.